What's up, billionaires? It's January, Thursday the 14th, and we have reason to celebrate! <coughs> I have reached 100 subscribers. In fact, last time I checked, it was 110, so that's super duper awesome. That means there's 100 people out there that care about me. To celebrate, I've decided to take a vacation. I'm thinking Haiti. Seriously, they're in a lot of trouble. Links for donating are in the sidebar. <laughs> But I'm in and out of the airport as fast as I can. Like Tiger Woods on date night. Ah. <gasps> I gotta go. Unfortunately, it's not that easy for eight-year-old Cub Scout Michael Hick because Michael Hick's name appears on the government's terrorist watch list. Because eight-year-olds can't be trusted. Hi, everybody! I'm gonna ride the plane and I got Pokemon and you guys like yo-yos? You get now? I have a girlfriend! Reports claim that no matter what the parents do to get his name off the list, they cannot save him from getting patted down every time he's at the airport. Hi. I'd like to apply for the airport security position. Do you have any previous experience? Well, I was a priest. As some of you know, the Electronics Convention CES happened last week in Las Vegas. I really wish I could have gone. But somehow, the people that did go missed out on one of the gems of the whole convention. You're wrong. I know all about that robotic sex doll. No! That wasn't it. What it was, was RCA's new invention called Energy. Basically, it takes ambient Wi-Fi signals and converts them into DC power for your electronic devices. What? So basically, anytime you're walking through a place with wireless internet, your phone or gadget is getting power. The coolest part though is that RCA said they're hoping to sell the device at the low prices of about $40. And even better, they're hoping to get the technology so small that it'll fit inside new cell phone batteries. Holy crap, that is awesome. So in my last video, you heard about the guy that tried to rob the bank but then got talked out of it. Apparently he is not alone. As a man in Portland, Oregon walked into a FedEx and handed a note to an employee that read, This is a robbery. Please call the police. I'm sorry. Police reports say the charges will not be pressed because the man was not armed in any way and did not actually try to rob the FedEx in any capacity. At first, I thought this was dumb, but then I came up with my own little note. Dear Internet, I'm homeless and record these videos with a cardboard box. If I don't raise one million dollars, for lunch today, I will die. Sorry. Or here's a better one. Dear NBC, this new time slot sucks. Sorry. So that's your news for today. Today's quiz quickie is what gem of knowledge would you pass on to America's number one Cub Scout? Now, it's probably not the kid I talked about in today's video because he's busy doing other things. All right, Osama, I'll bring the bombs, but only if you give me all your fruit roll-ups. But for real, if you had the number one Cub Scout with you, what gem of knowledge would you teach him about life? Teach him the ways of the world. Thanks again for subscribing and featuring me on your channels. Feels good to have people talking about me, including this girl. We just seen, like, the finest motherfucker that we're here at Trade Let them know, too. I'm talking about Brad Pitt-looking motherfucker. Like, like, fucking sexy. like, what's his name? David Beckham looking motherfucker. This, if you see this video, just we talking about you. fuck the shit. Out of you. You work at the trade win. You work at the motherfucking trade win. We don't know if you. <laughs> that girl's hilarious. I've got a link to her profile in the sidebar. I'm Alex Clark, and I want to be a billionaire. Goodbye. <laughs>